Welcome to my live. Welcome to the replay. If you're catching me on replay. Hey Morgan. Look, it's 8.30. I'm actually on here at 8.30. Been a day, Morgan. It's been a day. Let's see if I can get my chair fixed right here. So, how was your day today? I know. I got this. I know I do. I'm tired. I can't imagine how you are. I'm sure you're tired too. Sorry, I don't mean to shake this, but I'm trying to get this cord out of my way. Hey, Morgan, tell me, tell me if is this going the right way? Oh, good. You got most of your stuff unpacked. That's good. Oh, good. I think I'm getting the gist of turning that camera. So... We'll give it a few minutes and see who else comes on. Oh, Candy's on. Candy's on. Hey, Candy. Morgan, Candy says it's snowing there. It's snowing in Maine. So, that's crazy. It's cold here. Like, I've been freezing all day. All day long. Hey, baby girl. Well, maybe it'll just be the two of you on. <laughs> I did post it. It's cold and raining here. It was raining here this morning, but we haven't had any rain. Um, we haven't had any rain today. It's just been really cold. Like, my hands are really cold. So. It says I have four people on, but I don't know who the other four is. I didn't see anybody else come in. But that's okay. It's all right. It's good to see my girls. And Candy, you have to work because you work for a grocery store, right? I have to work. I don't know why I have to work. Just stop by for a few minutes before going to bed. Yeah, 3 a.m. is going to come very, very early for you. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm not sure why I have to work. Wine's not really an essential thing, I don't think. Yeah, Morgan's out of work until April 3rd. Yeah, no rest for you. Yeah. Sucks. Oh, look. Hey, now Donna's the one. Hey, Courtney. Welcome. All right. Well, we're going to get started. We're going to get started here. So, um, so I did a little workshop here at the house yesterday with um, Valerie and Rhonda and Tanya. That was fun. So, but let me show you what I did, and I thought it turned out really, really cute. So, let me get it for you. People are stocking up. They are stocking up on wine. I know. It's crazy. That's all I'm doing at work is um, filling orders and shipping them out. So, yay. <laughs> So in my workshop that I did yesterday, we did the Cottontail Farms, and I'm sure you guys saw it on my Facebook page, but I think it turned out super cute. 
Can you see it? Maybe I can bring it down just a hair. But anyway, I thought it turned out really, really, really cute. So, oh, feel free to send you some, Courtney. <laughs> I've got plenty. I think it turned out cute. What do you think? Yeah, I love the colors too, Morgan. I think it turned out well. So, you know me, I love the buffalo print, so I felt like I wanted to put it behind it, even though it shows through the rabbit a little bit, but I think it turned out good, so. We are going to do, um, we're gonna do the cottontail farms tonight, only we're gonna do it on a whiteboard this time. So I have this board, which I, put if um so I did this little print on it but we're gonna take this print off um I did this at my launch here at the house but people some people don't know how to take this off of the surface so we're gonna take it off tonight and then we're gonna redo it so we're gonna spritz it with a little bit of water here to activate the um, paste and by reactivating that chalk paste, we'll be able to get it back off. So, we'll let that sit for a second. I know, Morgan. <laughs> it's okay, we can always redo it. It'll be fine. It would look cute in your house though, right? It would look cute in your house. So, hey Kathleen. Did you just finish watching Sarah? I had to go because, you know, I had to do this. Yeah, it would, Morgan. It would definitely look good in your house. But it's okay. We can do it again. I can make it on something else. Oh, my, just FYI, my phone is act acting really weird. So, if I lose you guys, I apologize. Like, the camera was flipping earlier and I wasn't touching it and I just noticed that it just kind of went to the side and came back so anyway and there it goes again I'm not sure I might need a new phone um hey once we get our living room for oh yeah yeah we can do some colors that'll match so anyway we're gonna go ahead and start scraping this off this is actually our um scraper that um, I like, I like it, it's really durable. So it's, it actually makes it really, really, really easy to get this paste up off of this board. So. Are we back? I told you my phone's acting up. So tell me if I'm back, if you guys see me. You guys see me? I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on with my phone. I'm not very happy about that because it's just started. So we're gonna just wipe this up, get all this stuff off of here. And then we're just gonna come across and wipe it off and try to get the best part of that up. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little bit of ghosting on here where the old transfer um, paste was. So I'm just gonna take my, um, my chalk eraser and I'm just gonna come on here and just kind of clean off that ghosting that we had you guys might not have been able to see it, but I definitely could. So I'm just going to try to get that all off. And then we're going to wipe the surface again. Make sure it's good and dry. And it's all nice and clean. That's how easy it is just to take that off. You know, Morgan, I tried to restart it. It just, yeah. I tried restarting it before I ever even got on here because it was happening. But 
hopefully I can get through this whole thing without it doing it again, without it glitching. So, all right. So I, this board can be hung either way. So it can be hung this way. I know I'm out of the frame a little. Or it can be hung this way. So, I'm really debating on which way I want to do it. Because I want to do the Cottontail Farm. So, we have this little bunny, which I think is super, super cute. So, I don't know if I want him to go like that or if I want him to go like this. I'm really thinking maybe this way. And the reason why is because I have um, this oval, this oval wreath that I want to put on here. And if you guys decide to um, order some transfers from me, remember this month, just for the next, what, eight days till the end of the month, is buy three transfers and get one free. But all of your transfers tell you exactly what to do. So it tells you to peel it, you're gonna fuzz it, apply it, remove it, how to clean it, how to dry it, and how to store it. So um, it gives you all those instructions on the back of, the, of this. So. So what I'm thinking is putting this here and then putting Cottontail Farms. I might actually bring it down a little bit and then put Cottontail Farms with the bunny in the middle of this and then established underneath it. I think that would be really cute. We're gonna try anyway. Once again, if it doesn't look right, we can always take it off. See, it's gonna do it again. I see it. I see it's trying to move. So let's get moving here before it decides to, to be weird. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going here. So we're just gonna roll it off. Better to do it like this. All right, and then we're going to fuzz it. All right, you guys are quiet. I tried to eat dinner and get all that done before I got on, and I watched Sarah for a few minutes. I stayed really busy, so I think this is going to be cute here. See, I'm trying to make sure I get it enough on each side. All right. I think that'll be good. Make sure we'll press it down really, really good. And make sure there's no air bubbles here. And hopefully there's enough there. And then I think, I'm not worried about these little air bubbles in this section because that's not going to matter. It's just these sections here that you can see. And we're going to do that in pesto. We're going to do that in this green pesto, which I think is really, really pretty. And let's get us a stir stick and we're going to stir this up. This green tends to have a little bit of lumpiness to it, but the consistency is really good. Like I said, we used this one yesterday and so I think it has enough water in it. It just needs to be really stirred up. So I like these darker greens. So. All right, very good. All right, let's get us a squeegee. And we're gonna use a, a bigger squeegee. Let's move all this out of the way. I don't know what that was. I think it's off the edge of the jar. 
<clears throat> guys are quiet. I know you guys are still up there. But we're just going to kind of get this on. going to push it in. We're going to squeegee it down into the rest of this. I'm going to do it, move very quickly. Like always, like I tell you always, we want to move really quickly. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be a pro. And if you want to try it, I would love to help you guys out. So, all right. And then we're going to peel this up to reveal that reef. Voila. That looks good. I like that a lot. What do you think? Hmm? Hey, Rhonda. I like that. I think that looks good. I think it looks really, really good. So we're gonna blow dry it a little bit so that um, it, so I don't touch it, because remember we're gonna put that, that bunny in the middle of it. that looks good. I'm really pleased with that. And then we're going to use this bunny. Remember this bunny we used yesterday, Rhonda? Remember him? We're going to use him again today. I know, the green's so pretty, isn't it, Morgan? Let's see. We're going to put this bunny in the center. Maybe. I mean, if it covers up it a little bit, I think we'll be okay. Over just a tad. Not sure what's going on with my phone. I really am not. You guys back? Let's see. Awesome. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if it's the connection. You know, with the way things are nowadays, with, I just, I don't know. Oh, well. So, we are going to have a little brown bunny. And this brown looks beautiful. This is actually, let me just tell you what color it is before I, it's called bark. It's called bark. So we're gonna use this one. It looks like, it looks like chocolate. It looks like chocolate pudding. But once again, the consistency is pretty good. It's actually perfect. So let's just mix it up really, really well. And then once again, I'm gonna use another big squeegee so that I can get this on fairly quickly and then pull it off. I think that's probably gonna be good. All right, so let's, let's work this into the transfer, into that silk screen there and just pull it, getting it in all the crevices here. And the one good thing about this is there is no weeding to this. If I had to do this and weed all these little pieces to get this texture on this bunny, it would just take me forever and I would give up really quickly. But Chalkator has taken care of all of that for me. And I don't have to worry about any of that. All right, so let's get that off. We're going to peel it up. 
to reveal that little teeny tiny bunny there. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. I mean, he is just cute as a little butt button there. You see him? I mean, look. He is so cute. That is just absolutely adorable. The cutest little Easter bunny ever. The cutest little Easter bunny. All right. And then, we're going to blow dry it because, you know, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess him up now that I've got him really cute. He's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving that. So, I think we're going to put Cottontail Farms right up here. You guys see that? I think we're going to put that right up there. Let's see. Let me peel this off. There we go. We'll give it a little fuzz there. And then we're just going to put it right up here. If I can get it, I think that looks good. Make sure there's no air bubbles once again. And then we're going to do that in, whoops, I'm sorry guys, I did not mean to move that. Did not mean to move that. So if there's anybody out, out there that wants to do what I'm doing and join the company. I'd love to have you and help you out. Um, just remember, you're just gonna add team to the comments and I can get you the information. We have a awesome Club Couture um, members only little transfers that come out um, once a month for club members for a fee of $19.99 a month. You just have to join, just have to put club in the comments and I can get you that information also. So I'm still working on my VIP groups, trying to get those up and running the right way. But just remember, if you're a customer, you can get in my VIP group. Because in there, we're going to have some fun things happening probably in the next um, month or so. Um, where there'll be some little special things for you guys in there. So, alright, let's pull this one up very quickly before that dries in our transfer. Oh, look. So cute. What do you think? Current jam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Morgan. Current jam would have been really cute on there. But I like the black. The black with the black frame, I think, looks really good. So, and then we are going to put the established down here in the bottom. And we're also going to use that black. So we're going to put that right about here. I think that looks good. No air bubbles. Press down really good. All right. Look at all that paste and put it back in there. Peel this up. Awesome. Look, this one's not going to take us hardly any time to get this done. It's going to be awesome. I think that's cute. 
Very simple, but very, 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 very cute. Yeah, I love it. But we're still not finished. You don't think hardly I would just let this just be, right? We have a couple more things. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. And I have these two little tags that I bought and I painted earlier because I didn't wanna to have to sit here and wait for paint to dry while I was talking to you guys. But I'm gonna put these little carrots on there. They're so cute. Super, super, super cute here. And we're gonna work on these fairly quickly. Let's see, I think I should do them like this. So we're gonna see where that hole is. And put them on here. And this is a two part. So we're gonna do the first part first. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do the second part. And I am going to use this orange peel. This is called orange peel. Let's close up some of this stuff so I don't have it all over the place. Sticking my hands in it. As you know me, I probably would. So we're going to use orange peel. And we're going to give it a good little stir here. You know, every carrot should be orange, right? Yes, Donna does like this. Oh my goodness, April. April Hossie, you have finally made it on. Where have you been, girlfriend? I think about you at home with them kids. How's homeschooling coming? Looks like you're going to be there for a long time since they're not reopening the schools. That's going to be crazy. I would be driving myself insane. I'm glad, I, don't get me wrong, I love my children. I love them. But I, they're all adults now, and I don't have to worry about homeschooling them. That would be hard. You're homeschooling now. Yeah. I'd rather be in class. I understand. I understand that. All right, so I'm just going to kind of clean up some of this orange here that I have, these little pieces. All right, so I'm going to use, so I, I cut up a squeegee, if you guys remember. I cut up a squeegee, so I'm going to do this fairly quickly, just so that I can... Put this on that other one too. And this has these little spots on here. I'm hoping I can get these spots back off. We shall see. If not, they might just have to stay there. Oh, and I need this green. Let me get this green. I don't, that one's too big. We want a little green spot up there, right? So let's use some of that pesto that we have. We're gonna put that pesto up there. Moving that across very quickly. All right. And then we're gonna peel it up. Can you see it? Is my lighting, my lighting sucks. This is what I need, Morgan here. But we're going to put that carrot right over here. It doesn't have to be in the same spot. It just has to be on here. It doesn't have to be identical. All right. And then we're going to move quickly. Doing the same thing. Getting that orange into that silk screen. Moving it fairly quickly. Put those little dots there. Like I said, I don't know if they'll come off or not, but we'll see. And then we're going to do the top of this carrot. Pressing that in. All right. And then we're going to peel it up to reveal this carrot. Cute, 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 cute. We're going to put that transfer over in some water. 
so it'll be easy to get it off. You need some wine? Let's think, 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 think. I might know someone, like Morgan said, might know someone. I still have to work April. I still have to go in. I don't know how I'm an essential person that has to go in, but I have to go in. So, oh well. We'll see. All right. So now, oh, let me do this real quick. Because you know what I need to do. I need to blow dry that so that it is dry to put the next piece on. Everything was going all over the place. It was all going all over the place with that blow dryer. All right, now we can use this piece. This little teeny piece has to go on top of it. But we are gonna be finished with this orange. The orange peel can go back into here. Remember all of your squeegees and your um, stir sticks are all washable so just put them in a tub of water and uh, you can clean them up afterwards all right as i'm making a little bit of a mess here it's okay let's clean up a little bit okay, let's see. all right so we're going to use this is called um papaya this color is called papaya and we're going to use this with the orange. Some people need booze to survive. I know, Morgan. Oh, how I know. Every. Just heard my friend. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, it makes for long days for me at work. So, all right. So, we're going to mix this up too. This one has a good consistency too. Remember, you want it to be kind of like sour cream or yogurt. So you want it to kind of be a little bit, not runny, but where it's fallen off of the stick is always a good thing. All right. So let's see if we can get these. So these have these little marks on here. So you're supposed to be able to line it back up. So that this carrot looks kind of like a carrot. The second piece, it's a two-parter here. I think that'll be fine. It looks like it's, it looks like it's lined up through there. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of this papaya. We're gonna put that over top of it. Pushing it down into that transfer. We're gonna scrape it off. And we're gonna pull it up to reveal it. Cool. And then we're gonna move it over to this next one. Try to line up those little marks. I know you guys can't see these marks, but I somewhat can. This one's a little harder because that mark is not exactly. Here we go. Same thing. Push it into it. We're going to scrape it off. And then we're going to pull it up. Cute. Cute. See? It's really cute. <laughs> it's an aisle five candy. Well, that's awesome. Let me see if I have 
for some I don't have any Q-tips here for some odd reason. Let's see if I can get this little spot off. Awesome. I'm just taking my little chalk eraser here. Get those little marks off really quickly. Awesome. I think they turned out really cute. And they're different. And all carrots are different, right? <laughs> you probably used them all. Like all the transfers from yesterday. Oh, yeah, you did. Every one of them, Rhonda. You used every one of them. I know, they are adorable. All right, once again, we are going to, one, I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun, and we are going to blow dry this. I am going to put all this stuff away, because the blow dryer probably is not good for the paste. It kind of dries it out. Yes, Q-tips. Oh, yeah, you may have used all the Q-tips yesterday. That's very true. more. I just didn't bring them in here tonight. I forgot them. Once again, I always think I have everything. And then when I sit here and start talking to you guys and thinking, oh, I don't have this and I don't have that, but it's okay. I kind of just keep going. Just keep going with it. It's okay. It is all good. So I'm actually going to put these tags together and put a little jute. I do have the jute. At least I did have the jute. Oh, I still do. I still do. I still have the jute. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this um, with my scissors. With my scissors. So what has everybody else been up to? Uh, we don't have an ABC store. We can get it all at the grocery store, gas stations, oh, and convenience stores. Wow. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, you know, it's a one-stop shop, right? Just get it all at one time. So I'm just gonna make a little loop here on the top of this tag. So I have something to hang it with. Cause I'm just gonna put the tags together. I could have two hanging. Let's try that. I didn't do that yesterday, but today's a new day. So why not? We'll make it look, it'll be very cute. So, it's not the easiest to stick it through here, but I got it. I got it. Okay. There we go. Super easy. Super easy. And then we're just gonna put these, I'm gonna actually put these tags together. So it kind of looks like, so that they stay. So they stay together. Maybe I can bring one down. And one up. So we're just gonna put a little hot glue on it. And get it done. Let's see. 
See if my hot glue gun is working. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think I need much. I don't think I need too much anyway. Let's see. I think it's I think it should be over top of that, just a hair. I think it needs to be like that. Yeah. Push that down, and then we have them like that. I think that's cute. Awesome. And then, I think this is gonna be so cute. And you know me, ask Rhonda. She knows me well. A little jute around the top of this is going to make it just stand out. Let's see if I have enough. I'm, I have another thing. I have another thing of jute. Somewhere. Let me get it. Awesome. I always have jute somewhere. You know? And then we're just gonna kind of wrap this around. I just wanna make sure I have enough for what I wanna do. And then we'll fix it. Then we'll fix it. All right, you know, we just want to make sure we have enough of it, and then we're going to fix it. You know, awesome. Hmm. You guys are quiet, I have to say. You guys are awfully, awfully quiet. So. Sometimes I think I'm just sitting in here talking to myself. Just crazy. All right, let's see. Let's get this going around here. Here, we're gonna just tie a little, I'm just gonna tie a little bow right here at the top, and then we're gonna move it so that you can kind of see a little bit of that cottontail farms. I wonder if I should do it. Maybe I should. I know, I know y'all can't see it. I know, I know, I'm so incisive. I'm not really, you know, I have to love it. I have to love it to be able to do it. So if you don't love it, you just have to fix it. So that's my whole thing. So I have to make sure that it's exactly how I want it. So maybe there is going to be a better, it's going to be better for me. With this little top piece here. So. You know. Then of course I have to fool with it. And make sure that's exactly where I want it. Where I want it to be. Being a perfectionist doesn't always help. 
Am I still there, guys, or? Yeah, you like that better, Morgan? I think that looks better. I think that looks better up there. And then we can cut this and then add these up here, like where this bow is. You know, let's see if I can put a little knot here without that popping off of the top. I didn't really want to hot glue the jute because um, I didn't want it to be like permanent. I might have to do something different there. All the little fuzz from there. But, sorry, I know. I'm trying to fiddle with it so that it looks halfway decent so that when you look at it, it'll be It'll be cute, you know? Might, I might have to put a little hot glue there after all, but what do you think? Can you see it? See, I think that looks cute. What do you think? Hello. Oh, yep, you like it. Awesome. And then... Maybe we'll put a little jute around the bottom, but I think all in all, it turned out really good. It's definitely different than the one that I did um, yesterday. I liked it. You liked it better without it. Well, April, if you decide that you want to make one and you order all the stuff, you can leave your jute off. That's how it works. I like the jute. The one I did yesterday, April, let me show you, because I had a little, my little workshop here. This is the one I did yesterday. This is the one I did yesterday. So it's the same concept, just with two different boards and two different ways that we can do it. So I think they both turned out really good. So, yeah, like this one better or this one better? The f number one or number two, April? Oh, this one, the bog. Yeah, it is super cute. Yeah, they're super cute. It's a fun, fun transfer to do, so. Well, guys, it's super cute. The whiteboard is cute. <laughs> whatever, April, whatever. You're just saying that because you've been with kids all day. That's all. You could probably find other things to do with the jute, so. Well, guys, if there's anything else I could do for you, remember um, we've got about eight days left um, for our transfer palooza. Remember, it's buy three and get one free. So um, if you're interested in that, um, make sure you check that out on my um, in my store, right, on my business page. So um, we also have our... Um, Club Couture, which is awesome. We did that transfer, the March one, um, a couple days ago. and turned out really cute. So remember, you can always join that. Um, you can do that on my page too or put the comment um, join or, excuse me, club in the um, comments and I can send you that information. Um, I'm working on my VIP group, but if you're interested in jumping into the VIP group, just to add VIP to your comments there. Um, I know it's some hard times right now and crafting is how I'm trying to get through it. And I think there's a lot of you out there that you could also use this too. So um, let's try to stay healthy and happy and safe. And I guess I will be talking and talking with you guys tomorrow night. 
Love you guys all. Enjoy your evening. Bye.